For almost two decades, Mark Harmon entertained viewers as the fan fave Leroy Jethro Gibbs on the popular drama NCIS before deciding to bow out of the show, making him one of the longest-running American TV stars. But did you know that he wasn't really CBS's first choice for the part? So who's this other amazing actor, and how did he almost get the iconic role? We spill the tea in today's video. Let's get started. First things first, it's impossible to picture anyone but Mark as Gibbs. There's no denying that fans absolutely freaking lootly loved Mark Harmon as Gibbs. Since the very first episode of the super hit CBS series NCIS, the handsome Harmon has had us all hooked with his portrayal of the head of the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. We saw him play the role in nearly 400 episodes, which is probably the longest viewers have gone without throwing a tantrum and just straight up admiring a character. And there's zero doubt that he was one of American TV's most loved characters who people just couldn't get enough of. Despite his future long run with the show, which went on for for 19 and a half seasons before he exited, viewers couldn't stop lamenting about how much they missed the character and still wanted to see more. While Harmon's etched into our minds as Gibbs, you'd be surprised to hear that someone else almost got his role. That's right. It's honestly really hard to imagine the character being played by any other actor, but that was actually almost the case back in the day before the production of NCIS Season 1 began. Apparently, casting directors for the JAG spinoff, which premiered in 2003, reportedly considered casting another actor for the lead role. Well, turns out that a real Hollywood legend was being considered for the part of Leroy Gibbs and of IMBD is to be believed. The actor is none other than Harrison Ford. And we even see a nod at what could have been. Did you notice that in the pilot episode of the series, Harrison and his film Air Force One are mentioned as the team finds itself on a case that's strikingly similar to the plot of the 1997 blockbuster? Even Gibbs notices the parallels while passing through a plane and says, this is in a movie. Harrison is sitting right here. What's more is that Harrison wasn't the only well-known celebrity who came close to appearing on the show. Apparently, even the Golden Globe winner Don Johnson was offered the role of Gibbs, but he too turned it down. To top it off, Jennifer Aniston was up for the role of one of the main characters too. Although the Friends actress auditioned for the part, it was later decided that Sasha Alexander would go on to play special agent Kate Todd as she couldn't commit to the project while filming the sitcom's final season back then. Pretty surprising, huh? But can you picture Ford as Leroy Gibbs? We don't know about you, but we for sure just can't. Although it's unknown how far the actor advanced in the audition process, it's said that his colleagues and friends pushed Ford to take up the role of Gibbs, as he was going through a bit of a slump at the time the series was being developed. But Harrison, for whatever reason, decided not to sign on the dotted line. And it was then that Mark, who at the time was best known for his role in The West Wing and Street Elsewhere, was cast in the lead role as Gibbs. And boy, are we glad he was. Now, don't get us wrong. Ford's a brilliant actor, amazing at what he does, and we loved him in Indiana Jones, Star Wars, and literally every single one of his projects. There's a reason a lot of interesting roles were originally written for him. In fact, when screenwriter Derek Kolstad first wrote John Wick for Parabellum, the plan for the retired assassin was to be actually of retirement age. And guess what? Harrison Ford was being eyed for the role. Not to forget, he's quite charming too, and all the good objectives in the book actually. But the fact that he would have been Gibbs in another reality just doesn't sit right with us. You know how they say, some roles are tailor-made for some actors. They're everything the part represents, and they just fit. For fans, Gibbs is Mark Harmon. And this is why they want him back. Fans bid a tearful farewell to their favorite character in season 19. That's almost 20 years into the show, which is an incredibly long time. So it's no surprise that viewers are pretty used to seeing him we mean, people practically grew up watching the character. Obviously, there's an emotional attachment going on there, and they definitely want him back. Not to forget that he was literally carrying the show on his 60-year-old back for several seasons and was clearly the star of NCIS. Without him, fans feel that the show has lost its charm. It just isn't the same. In fact, everyone who was so mad about him leaving initially, that all you'd see under any NCIS-related post, was thousands of fans screaming, crying, throwing up about Gibbs. Even though Mark made a brief appearance in the last season, it looks like NCIS fans will have to learn to love the series without him in charge. After 19 years as a series regular, Mark will reportedly no longer serve as the show's main captain in any capacity. So even though he may have cameos, as showrunners have repeatedly stated that he might make future appearances, but it just won't be the same. But then again, something's better than nothing, right? While fans miss Gibbs, he's equally nostalgic about his time on the
the show. Recently, in a special featurette, Harmon said that he had a lot of fun over the years playing Agent Gibbs. The Emmy-nominated star connected with his role and feels that his character took a fair path, which he finds honest and okay. What's more is that he's still an executive producer on the show and is still very much an important part of the NCIS family. Unfortunately, though, it looks like we won't be seeing Mark Harmon on screen for a while since he doesn't have any other projects in the pipeline that we can look forward to. But let's look at the brighter side. It seems that with each passing week, more and more people are adjusting to the idea of Parker replacing Gibbs. And if he's not enough, you can always start over to see your favorite character come to life once again. Now, let's have a look at what else NCIS has in store for us. First up, Tobias Fresnel's return has been confirmed in Hawaii Crossover First Look. But this time, they won't be on their own. A first look image from the crossover has revealed that Gibbs' old friend, Tobias Fresnel, will be returning to lend a hand. After making a rare comeback in Season 19, Fresnel hasn't been seen in the NCIS universe since, and fans are super stoked because it just so happened to be at the exact moment that the NCIS and Hawaii teams collaborated for the first time. Next up, is Will Parker coming back? Most of you probably know that Parker's situation isn't looking too good right now. The team wants to solve the mystery, but, but he's in the enemy's custody, and we're honestly so concerned for the new leader because his ex-wife was seen texting whoever is plotting the frame up. Things are pretty bad. And to top it all off, Gary Cole is nowhere to be found in any of the online photos that were taken behind the scenes either. Everyone else seems to have returned except Ducky, which has left the fans wondering if we're going to see more of him. We think it's not all that surprising that Cole isn't included in the recent images. The directors would obviously want fans to speculate about Parker's, or any other important character's, potential comeback. They're looking to maintain this mystery to keep us hooked to NCIS Season 20. Remember all the times we questioned Gibbs' return after it appeared that he had left at the end of some seasons? And he always returned. Plus, it's totally possible that Parker might be filming alone instead of the gang. He'll mostly remain in place until the group comes up with a strategy to clear his name and save him. So, before you freak out about yet another favorite character leaving the show, he's definitely coming back. And finally, Perret leaves fans on edge with a new secret project. Paul Lee may no longer be a part of NCIS as the crime drama approaches its landmark 20th season, but the star is still dear to the hearts of many diehard fans. And since so many people want to stay in the loop with what she's up to, the actress frequently updates her massive social media following with her latest activities. Perret recently teased an exciting new update with her fan base by tweeting a super cool selfie, setting the rumor mill into an overdrive. Could this be her return to our scenes, or does she have an interesting new project up her sleeve? We hope it's the former. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you think Harrison Ford would have done justice to Gibbs? Comment below and let us know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. See you in the next one.